हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट गाइज टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू ट्रूबल शूट इंटर व्हील एंड राउटिंग हाउ टू ट्रूबल शूट इंटर व्हील एंड राउटिंग बाई यूजिंग मेथड राउटर ऑन ए स्टिक राइट सो इन दिस सेनार यो इंजीनियर हैव कन्फिगर राउटर ऑन ए स्टिक देर इज सम मिस कन्फिगेशन सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द मिस कन्फिगेशन एंड देन वी नीड टू ट्रूबल शूट इट Fine. So, see what is problem over here in this scenario. Is problem is let's say a junior network engineer has configured inter VLAN routing in this topology, right? A network engineer have has configured uh, inter VLAN routing in this scenario, but inter VLAN routing is not working, and you need to troubleshoot it. Okay. So, first of all, we will verify the problem, right? We will check is really inter VLAN routing not working, and then we will uh, troubleshoot it. Okay. So, without wasting our time, let's begin. so guys let me check let me access pc1 from pc1 here is pc1 from pc1 i am going to ping let's say uh, pc3 which is member of same vlan right pc1 and pc3 both are in vlan 10 so let me ping pc3 10.1.1.2 so you can see i am able to ping pc3 right means pc1 is able to ping pc3 now let me ping pc2 which is in vlan 20 20.1.1.1 okay so yes you can see this ping is not working pc1 is not able to ping pc2 so in this scenario whenever inter vlan communication is not working so you should check default gateway and you should ping your default gateway first right so on pc number 1 i am going to check default gateway configuration so so ip all Here my IP address is 10.1.1.1 and default gateway IP address is 10.1.1.100. 10.1.1.100. So first I should ping my gateway IP address from here, right? Because for inter VLAN communication, the you know default gateway configuration should be correct, and both a user should be reachable to their default gateway, right? Then only inter VLAN routing will work. So ping 10.1.1.100. so let me check i am able to ping my gateway or not so you can see guys i am not able to ping my gateway also right that means maybe there is some con misconfiguration on router or maybe there is some misconfiguration on switch number 1 or maybe there is some misconfiguration on switch number 2 so first of all i will access switch 1 we will start very you know verifying vlan configuration trunk configuration i write these things on each switch one by one so let's begin from switch number 1 let me access switch 1 here i have switch 1 let me change the host name also host name switch 1 now here so run interface e0/0 e0/0 this interface should be configured as trunk so definitely this interface is trunk guys or this interface can be uh, the member of vlan 10 because of that v, uh, pc1 is able to ping pc3 pc1 is able to ping pc3 that means this interface is trunk or maybe the, the this interface and this interface is in vlan 10 so we will check we will verify the running configuration of these two interface e0/0 on switch 1 and on switch 2 So see the configuration on e0/0 Ethernet 0/0 switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q here we are using encapsulation protocol dot one q then switch port mode trunk this is manual configuration and switch port no negotiation so here configuration of this interface e0/0 is correct right this interface is configured as trunk right encapsulation protocol is dot one q and here we can run so interface trunk command also to check. allowed vlan like on this trunk link you can see e0/0 encapsulation protocol dot 1q status is trunking native vlan is 1 and uh, allowed vlan is vlan 124094 4094 nine, that means all vlan are allowed on this trunk interface so here on switch number 1 the configuration of e0/0 is correct right now let me check vlan as well so vlan brief so vlan brief so we have vlan 10 over here and vlan 20 over here right so vlan 10 e0/1 is in vlan 10 and e0/2 is in vlan 20 that means pc2 belongs to vlan 20 pc1 belongs to vlan 10 this is correct but on this switch why we have only vlan 10 and vlan 20 because on this switch vlan 30 should be also there vlan 40 should be also there right then only pc1 can 
mapping to VLAN 30 user or VLAN 40 user, right? So VLAN 30 and 40 should be there in the database of switch one, in the VLAN database of switch one. So on this switch, what I can do, I can create VLAN 30 exit and VLAN 40. These two VLANs should be here in the VLAN database. So VLAN brief. Now you can see VLAN 30 and VLAN 40. Both VLAN are exist on this switch. Okay. So this is configuration of switch number one and on switch number one rest configuration is correct. So let me access switch two now. On switch number two, again first I will check running configuration of E0 slash 0 which is connected with switch one. So so run interface e0 slash 0 so configuration of this interface is first configuration is see guys switch port trunk allowed vlan 10 and 30 only vlan 10 and 30 are allowed on this e0 slash 0 interface only vlan 10 and 30 but on this interface vlan 10 20 30 40 all VLAN should be allowed over here, right? So I, I have to correct it. Then encapsulation protocol is dot one q This is correct, right? Switch port mode trunk and switch port no negotiation. Rest thing is correct, right? Only here problem is on this interface VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40. All VLAN should be allowed. So let me do one thing here. Config T and interface E0 slash 0. If I will remove this command, automatically all VLAN will allot on this interface. So say no to this command, right? And now again, I am going to check running configuration of this interface. So now you can see, okay, th that command is removed. So interface trunk. Now we can see E0 slash 0 and E0 slash 1 is my trunk link. E0 slash and on both trunk link, VLAN 1, 2, 4, 0, 94 are allowed right means on 0 slash 0 0 slash uh, 1 and 1 slash 0 which is connected with router number 1 all VLAN are allowed on this all trunk link but here you can see one problem e1 slash 0 1 slash 0 which is connected with router number 1 right here I am running encapsulation protocol ISL right that means same encapsulation protocols you know should be configured on router also right on router also encapsulation protocol should be ISL so we will verify the router configuration and maybe because of this mismatch encapsulation protocol between switch 2 and router we are not able to ping default gateway of PC1 right so Okay, the rest configuration is look like fine over here on this switch, right? So run interface E0 slash 1 on this interface. Also, you can see the running configuration is correct. Everything is correct on E1 slash 0. Here encapsulation protocol is dot, uh, sorry, ISL, right? Switch port mode trunk. Now, let me first verify router configuration, right? On router, we are running ISL protocol or not. I think on router engineers have configure dot one q so run first of all what we need to do so run we can say so run and here section f0 slash 0 not like this interface f0 slash 0 what we can do so run, so run vlan 10 so run let me show you entire running configuration then okay here we can run this command so run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 so on this interface we have run I am not running any IP address so actually on router we will have virtual interface we will divide this physical interface into multiple logical interface so ip route you can see 10 network is connected on which interface 0 slash 0 dot 1 20 network is connected on 0 slash 0 dot 2 30 network is connected on 0 slash 0 dot 3 and 40 network is connected on 0 slash 0 dot uh, 4 so let me verify the running configuration of 0 slash 0 dot 10 so run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 dot 1 dot 1 and see here encapsulation protocol is dot 1q right here we are running encapsulation protocol dot 1q for vlan 10 so you know why vlan 1 means pc1 is notable to ping their gateway because here on router 
we have configured encapsulation protocol dot one q and on switch e zero e one slash zero encapsulation protocol is running ISL right. In the same way, we can verify the running configuration of uh, you know zero slash zero dot two also, which is for VLAN twenty. Here also we are running encapsulation protocol dot one q for three. Here also we are running encapsulation protocol dot one q and on this interface also we are running encapsulation protocol dot one q. So what I need to do on switch number two, I need to change encapsulation protocol right on the trunk link on e1 slash 0 so let me take you to switch 2 and let me change host name first okay now interface e1 slash 0 and say switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q right now here i have configured dot 1q encapsulation protocol so run interface e1 slash 0 you can see encapsulation protocol is not dot 1q and so interface trunk also we can check here encapsulation protocol is dot one q now now let me do one thing from pc number one again i am going to ping my gateway ip address so let me take you to pc one and let me ping 10.1.1.100 which is my gateway let me check now i am able to ping gateway or not so still i am not able to ping my gateway but you can see now i am able to ping my gateway now i am able to ping my gateway IP address right from PC number two from VPC two also let me verify VPC two is able to ping their gateway or not what is the IP address of their gateway so IP all so 20.1.1.100 ping 20.1.1.100 VPC two is not able to ping their gateway wait for some time maybe it will take some time See this ping is not working right this ping is VPC2 is still not able to ping their gateway IP address means PC1 cannot ping to PC2 again ping 20.1.1.1 see still ping is not working right but now I am getting what error request timeout that means my default gateway is reachable from here okay now let me check why PC2 is not able to ping their gateway so on switch number one we have VLAN 20 and the interface is so VLAN brief this interface 0 slash sorry this is switch 2 on switch 1 so VLAN brief so this interface is in VLAN 20 correct let me take you to switch 2 now on switch number 2 e0 slash 0 on e0 slash 0 VLAN 20 should be allowed so interface trunk e0 slash 0 vlan 10 and 30 you can see vlan 10 and 30 are allowed only right vlan 10 and 30 are allowed only so run interface e0 slash 0 we can check the running configuration here here we are not able to see right any configuration like allowed vlan configuration okay but so interface trunk with the help of this command we are able to see sorry all vlan are allowed over here sorry i was checking uh, vlan allowed and active in management right i was checking this this entry but on 0 slash 0 you can see all vlan are allowed all vlan are allowed over here okay so this is correct but one more thing one more thing is vlan 20 should be there in that the vlan database of switch 2 right so let me check vlan database so vlan brief so vlan brief here you can see vlan 20 is not there vlan 20 is not there in the vlan database of switch 2 so because of that maybe vpc2 is not able to ping their gateway right so let me create vlan 20 over here say vlan 20 and exit and now again let me ping gateway from vpc2 ping 20.1.1.100 wait for some time maybe it will work still i am not able to ping my gateway ip address so now what is problem okay again i will verify you know configuration of switch 2 because on switch 1 i think everything is correct on switch 1 so run interface e0 slash 0 here so run 
interface is 0 slash 0 this interface is trunk link and so interface trunk all VLAN are allowed on this interface so on switch 1 everything is correct right let me verify the configuration of switch 2 let me check VLAN 20 is allowed on 1 slash 0 or not which is connected with router so interface trunk so here you can see all VLAN are allowed and now VLAN 20 is in management domain so let me verify the configuration of router once one again for VLAN 20 so so run interface f0 slash 0 0.2 encapsulation protocol dot 1q IP address is 20.1.1.100 submit mask is this one so everything is correct here let me ping again maybe because of a spanning tree protocol as switch will take 30 seconds to converge right so let me ping again to default gateway yes now you can see right vpc2 is able to ping their gateway ip address and again i am going to verify connectivity between pc1 and pc2 so let me take you to pc1 again and again let me ping 20.1.1.1 and this time you can see i am able to ping 20.1.1.1 so now ping is working between PC1 and PC3 means VLAN 10 user are able to ping VLAN 20 user right now from VPC2 from VPC2 I can ping uh, you know 10.1.1.2 means PC3 also you can see I am able to ping VPC2 is able to ping VPC3 and let me ping VLAN 30 user from here ping 30.1.1.1 yes i am able to ping 30.1.1.1 also let me ping vlan 40 user ping 40.1.1.1 again i am not able to ping vlan 40 user okay from vpc1 let me ping vlan 30 user 30.1.1.1 so yes from uh, vpc1 i am able to ping 30.1 means uh, vlan 30 user and i am also able to ping vlan 20 user but i am not able to ping vlan 40 user 40.1.1.1 so let me do one thing from vpc5 i am going to ping their default gateway i am going to ping their default gateway so let me take you to vpc5 and so ip all so default gateway ip address is 40.100 ping 40.1.1.100 so VPC5 is not able to ping their default gateway right now I need to again troubleshoot so let me check switch 2 configuration again on switch 2 so VLAN brief see VLAN 40 is not there in the VLAN database first of all I need to create VLAN 40 over here VLAN 40 exit and now so VLAN brief we have VLAN 40 and so interface trunk so you can see now VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, right, are in management VLAN, right, on all these trunk interfaces. Okay. Now let me check again. Now VPC5 is able to ping their gateway or not. Still VPC5 is not able to ping their gateway. It will take some time. So just wait for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Let me ping now. And now you can see VPC5 is able to ping their default gateway to their gateway. Now again I am going to ping from VPC1 to VPC4 ping 40.1.1.1 and now you can see VPC1 is able to ping 40.1.1.1 right. Now inter VLAN routing is working fine configuration is correct right. So guys this was a small troubleshooting of inter VLAN routing if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe guys bye bye that's all for today thanks for watching